that fi uh, financing is is incredibly um, challenging when you're independent and you're trying to do things on your own. But I'm really interested, Justin, with um, the, it seems like the big kind of uh, change that happened and to the, you know, you know to, the, to advance the movie of DIY People was when you did the concept trailer. Yeah. I'm I mean, so it, interested in how that thought process came about. I mean, it, it's a it's a real lesson in how nothing's wasted. I was I had you know spent eight years in PR, and I've I've known I wanted to be a filmmaker since I was a little kid. So <laughs> you know, I liked it. I was good at it, but it wasn't the passion. And um, I, I mean, I remember just sort of like, oh God, I'm like so behind and like all of my peers are working on movie sets and Lena's like writer's assistant and like everyone's like going for it and I'm at this desk and I'm like, I'm not following my dream, da 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 da, da. So cut to, uh, you know, I sort of decide by hook or by crook, this is gonna be my first movie. We do a table read, it's really working. And we just sat there like, well, what do we do now? Cause we don't have money, nobody's interested in this, but we feel like it's working. And the only, you know, it was sort of every single time we were at a juncture, it was like, okay, is there one other step we can take? And at this particular time, we're sitting around in the table room, like, you know what? I mean, I guess the next step we could do is to do like, do like a, I don't know, like a concept trailer, like an Indiegogo, because like, if we can get like maybe $5,000, we can incorporate the company and at least have a way to raise money, at least have the start. And I was like, okay, cool. So I took my, you know, like, like I had 2,000 bucks from my tax return. And literally, and on the weekends, like legit stole the campus of UCLA and shot until they kicked us off. And then we went and hid and then we came back and we just like, <laughs> We kept shooting and, you know, my goal was to make this concept trailer look like so much like a real movie was coming out that at the end of it, people would be like pissed. Like people would be like, oh, what? Like that was the goal. <laughs> and so uh, I remember we kept talking about slogans. Okay, it's not a movie, it's a movement. Because again, at the time, like it wasn't just I wanted to make this movie. I as an audience member just wanted to see something that looked like me. Like I, I was tired of going to see the black movie that came out that year and I didn't see myself in it. You know what I'm saying? And, and I, I knew that there was something about contemporary black life that could be comedic that I was just thirsty for. So I felt like other people would feel the same way. We made this concept trailer put it on YouTube, and because of all of my experience in PR, literally, we were working on, in at this lot, we were working on the Demanded campaign for Paranormal Activity, which took that tiny movie and exploded it. Uh, that was an idea that we came up with uh, under Amy Powell to sort of get different cities to demand it, and that went viral, and the movie became a huge success, so I was like, oh, I gotta give it a call to action. So at the end of the trailer, it's like, yeah, aren't you pissed this isn't a movie? Me too, give us some money. And <laughs> within three days, we had raised 25 grand. The trailer had, the trailer had gotten almost a million views. I'm on CNN for some reason with uh, this hat. Um, no. <laughs> like, uh, the, the concept trailer, and I, I'll give just, I mean, that was just a mastermind. There's no we, like you told us, like this is what we gonna do. And we were like, okay, cool. Uh, because I think the, the fact that you went into PR really taught you how to be a seller of yourself and your movies. And I think the thing that most filmmakers don't know how to do is market their film. And therein lies the rub, because that's such a huge part of it. And you were such a, and you also brought me along too to be a part of the marketing campaign once it became a movie and once we're at the studio. Yeah, which was, I thought, really smart. Well, that, we were the well, audience, so well, it's like, who better to come up with a campaign than Well, us? that was the other side of it. The trailer came out. It right. was this huge thing. It was exciting. We got all these and calls. And it was phenomenal. That's the thing. Because people always say, oh, I got this thing out. Let me take a look. It's like, that, we couldn't, you don't make something go viral. People make it go viral. Yeah. But because it, what he shot and his aesthetic and his directorial style was so unique and so fresh, everybody was like, who is this kid? What is this thing? And how can we be a part of it? So that's why I always say, if your thing is really dope, we, I'm gonna know about it. But even then, I gotta tell you, ain't nobody gave me no money to make the movie. It was like, we had like this money sitting in an, in an account. Right. I quit my job because I'm, I'm stepping out on faith, y'all. And, <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, why isn't the, why'd the phone stop ringing though? Like, why, people love it. I, I did an interview on CNN, Where, where's the money? <laughs> and, um, you know, we had a studio that was interested and we played with them for six months and then they called me and passed on me in the most passive aggressive way. And um, you know who you are. And um, 
<laughs> and uh, it was like a year and a half after I quit my job to step out on faith. Right. Uh, you know, I remember Lena and I would take walks. She'd be like, hey, are you on watch? And I was like, I'm a little bit on watch. And we would just take walks and just talk about, all right, it's all right, it's going to work out, da 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 But here's the thing. We kept asking, is there another step to take? And what we did is we took that money, we hired a casting director so that we could start casting, and we kept making content for our little YouTube uh, site. Mm -hmm. So that like by the time like a year and a half had gone by, our social media following kept growing and growing past actual movies that had mm -hmm. social media followings. And you know, the financier, Julie Lebdev of Code Red Films, now of Sight Unseen, she got the script first and really didn't respond to it, didn't think it was like a worthy investment. Um, and then a year and a half later, you know, we had gone through many drafts of the script because we had been almost, almost, almost all over the place. Mm -hmm. And Julie was like, you know what, but you guys have built such a huge following and there's not even a movie. This is a no duh. And she came in and financed it a mm -hmm. year and a half later because we just kept taking the next step. Mm -hmm. and, and that's how, I mean, that's how that movie happened. Well, I love yeah. that, Justin, and that's, yes. Because I love it because the, the, the last part of that, just take the next step, is until there are no more steps to yeah. take.